there is no fake reaction. We don't do three shots. There is no like 10,000 times going up, open again, getting the perfect shot. I believe in one shot. One shot. I don't care if it, the camera is shaking, it's bloody, no problem. I will still post it because my reaction in that video is authentic, it's genuine. It's not yeah. fake, it's not like, mm, this wow wow did not sound well, let's do another wow. No, that's why I'm in fight with all these car manufacturers. They're scared of me. What if I give you a car, you will talk shit about it. Then don't give me a shit car. The reason why a lot of content creators fail is because their mindset is stupid. They want to just become overnight successful. Like They close their eyes, they open their eyes and boom, millions of you. No, it doesn't work like that. Even a lot of my friends, they don't know who I am, where I'm from. They have seen me without the mask, but that's about it. Just keep guessing. Oh, but we saw there that you are. No, you don't know. So in public, you don't wear the mask. In public, I'm not this guy at all. Assalamu alaikum brother, how are you doing? Assalamu alaikum, alhamdulillah doing well brother. Yeah, thank you for coming on to our podcast. Thank you for having me, welcome to Dubai. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're the car expert, how did you become the most viral car reviewer in the UAE? See, it's, it's really simple, it's not that complicated. All you have to do is just become something different. Be yourself. People think becoming an expert or becoming viral, it's just, it's a really complicated job. It's not a complicated job. It's really easy, simple. The more you simplify it, no need to have these drone shows, no need to have, don't put so much effort. Mm. So becoming viral, becoming yeah. car expert is something, becoming viral is something. So first thing first, becoming viral, you have to be different than others. Why should someone follow you? Why should someone watch your content? Because you're different. Becoming car expert, becoming car expert is something which I was given this name by my friends back in the days, mm. because I had a passion about cars. And when I would sit in someone's car and I'd be like, listen, your car, right side tire, it needs to be replaced. How do you know that? It's like speaking to me. Mm. So you're a car expert. Somewhat you can say. Second thing about creating viral videos, being car expert. I do not like watching other people's video. Whenever I would go on social media, I would see like every single car influencer. It does not matter which background. It does not matter from which country. It does not, it does not matter from which region. Same shit. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my French. Same shit. Hi, behind me is a 3.6 liter engine, V12, turbo, blah, blah, blah. If I want to know about the specification of the, of the car, I would just Google it. I would just read the template. I would go onto YouTube and I will have a total review of the car. And every single influencer is the same. This car is a 5.6 liter engine or a 6.4 or 6.2 liter engine, naturally aspirated or with turbo, with this, that's it. They don't add value to it. They don't create any emotion. They're just, it's like reading. They're reading a script. The top influencer, the top car reviewers in the world, reading a script. So you don't need to read a script. You need to show your emotions. Mm. So for me, what's funny is I don't read the script. I don't do scripts. This is natural freestyle, yeah? Yeah. To a point where I don't even have the spec sheet. There's a spec sheet for each car, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's like 2022 model, 5.6 liter engine. It's a V8. It's this. It's that. I don't read that. I don't mm. read how fast it goes, 0 to 60. I don't care how 0 to 60 goes. I, mm -hmm. Does it make me happy or no? Yeah. How does the car make me feel while I'm driving it? So that's how I do it. I just go like all raw, open the hood. Wow. The, if I'm saying wow, that means it's wow. Mm, like there is no fake reaction. Like we don't reactions. do three shots. There yeah. is no like 10,000 times going up, open again, getting the perfect shot. I believe in one shot. Mm. One shot, I don't care if it, the camera is shaking, it's bloody, no problem, I will still post it because my reaction in that video is authentic, it's genuine. It's, authentic, it's not yeah. fake, it's not like, mm, this wow wow did not sound well, let's do another wow. No, mm. it can never sound. If a, if a sound of a car is making me happy, I'm a happy guy. Mm. That's why I'm in fight with all these car manufacturers. They're scared of me. What if I give you a car, you will talk shit about it. Then don't give me a shit car. Yeah. Give me a car which makes me happy. Yeah. If a car makes me happy, I'm a happy guy. If a car does not make me happy, I'm not a happy guy. End of story. Yeah. Nice. So what would you say is the quickest way to get famous online? Get naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quickest way, brother. Come on. You did the do quickest that. Way. I yeah. did not. I covered myself. Yeah, yeah. I covered myself more. Yeah. And because I, I knew that it will, I will become famous one way or another. Mm. It's just I did not want my privacy to be invaded. Because when you go to a mall, you are with a friend. You know, the problem is a lot of people they don't understand is that if you're a celebrity, influencer, whoever you are, or an actor, millionaire, billionaire, does not matter. You're still a human being. You have emotions. Mm -hmm. You like to scream it sometimes. You like to fight with some people. You like to negotiate for just fun of it. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a billionaire or a millionaire, sometimes you just like to negotiate it because 
You want to make some, you know, fun time with the other person. When you are an influencer or when you are a celebrity, you don't have that freedom. Because you go to a store, now there's two scenarios. If they know you, scenario number A, the prices go high, okay? Scenario number two, the price, they will not charge money from you. They will not charge, no, 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 it's on me, no, 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 we are blessed, we are, no, don't be blessed, I'm just a normal human being like you. Mm -hmm. I can pay it, give me a better price and I will take it. And sometimes I don't even negotiate, I just go there, but they recognize you, no, 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 you have to, you have to. What do you have to? I don't have to. So, so in public, so in public, you don't wear the mask, but do you- In public, I'm not this guy at all. So you completely change your attire? Completely change. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I wear it, but without the cap, without the qatar agar, yeah, without yeah, something anything different. else, yeah. Do you ever take your mask off? Will I ever take my mask yeah. off? Yeah. I don't think so. You, you would show I you thought what? about it a long time ago, but now I don't think so I will be able to remove my mask because the moment I will remove my mask, I will lose my privacy. Privacy, yeah. And soon enough, soon after a couple of maybe months or a couple of years, I will not be on social media. I will just fully stop social media. Yeah. So, so it's funny you said um, the quickest way to get famous online is to get naked. Whereas I think you actually done the opposite. So you've covered yourself more. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So how, how did how does that work then? So so basically, my idea or my reason behind wearing the mask, I started the content creation in COVID time. And okay. COVID was going on. Okay, yeah, yeah. makes sense. And I wanted to promote that you can, anyone can wear a mask. It's a okay. Mask, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If someone who is a celebrity, if someone who is an influencer, if he's wearing a mask, you can wear a mask too. It's normalized. Mm. But also it became a part of my personality. And then people got curious about me and I was like, you know what? I think this is working well. Plus mm. I know one day or one time I will get at that level. Like there is you know, micro, then there is macro, then there is influencer, then there is celebrity. I'm at celebrity status right now, alhamdulillah, by the grace of God. It's good, but it has its pros and cons at the same time. The mask. Let's say you go to a beach, okay? Women laying around, taking sun bath. They're 90%, let's say, naked. You can see their skin. Mm -hmm. But where, do you, where does your eye go? The place where it's covered. Mm. That's how a human mindset is. Mm -hmm. You look to the place where it's covered. Well, what clip made you actually go viral? Every single one of them. Was it what year was that? How long ago? I mean, there was one video I cannot talk about it, but yeah, <laughs> I think everyone knows <laughs> think about the video. TikTok, you hit 119 million, is it? That's uh, that no, no, no. See, there are some videos which had more than 1 billion views, but on is different it? platforms. What on platform like, was that? Instagram? Like, I post a video. Yeah. Then you will take, you are like a big page as well. You have 20 million followers, 60 million followers. So these pages will also take that video and they will post it. Yeah, yeah. So my videos are being posted on different, different platforms because they like it. It's different. So all these other platforms are, so there was one video which got more than 1 billion views how on many, different platforms. How many by followers different, did that yeah. get you? How many followers did that get you? I think 700,000 followers, something like that. 700,000. 700, 800,000 followers. One clip, yeah? One clip, that's it. Crazy. No way. So I think you mentioned that obviously you've been through some controversy, uh, you've been through some hardships. Um, how important do you think hardships are for a man? If you want to become a man, you must go through hardships. Mm. I always give this example. Let's say, how do boxers become boxers? They start hitting. They have a crack here. Once you will hit something really hard, you have a crack. But mm. then that crack will fill. Then if you will hit it with the same thing again, with the same power, now it will not crack. So you hit it more, with more force, again it will crack. So the more you crack, the more you build up. For me personally, I don't regret any kind of hardships in my life ever been through, if there have been. Because that's how you become a man, that's how you become tough. Mm. I hate those people who are like, no man, this you know happened to me, now my life is, no. Grow up, man up, <laughs> do it. You did it, you experienced, the main thing is you should learn from it. You make mistakes, okay, but learn from it. If you don't learn from your mistakes, then you're stupid. Mm. But if you learn from your mistakes, now you know 10,000 ways not to do that mistake and 10,000 ways to avoid becoming under that hardship. And hardship is good because once you are under hardship, then you will praise the Lord. You'll be like, you know what? Alhamdulillah, I have a good life. I have all these good people around me. I have all these good things happening to me, which the other people don't have. Mm. So hardship for me is like every human being, man, woman, horse, donkey, whatever. Mm must go through hardships. Yeah, you will like go through hardships, then you will realize what kind of a good life you have. Yeah, I feel like it makes you stronger in a sense. 100%. And mm -hmm. whatever does not kill you, makes simply you, makes, you makes you stronger. stronger yeah. So that's it. Definitely. Oh, what about, um, so if you weren't on social media, what would you be doing? 
Hmm, if I was not on social media, so I have a retirement plan, by the way. I want to retire by the age of, I will not tell you the age because then it will be like plus, plus, minus, <laughs> minus, but like a really young age. Yeah, I always young, want, anyway. yeah, I'm young, I'm not old, but I'm not <laughs> young, young, I'm not old, old, I'm like somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I want to retire really early and leave all the luxury, all everything, whatever I have, however I have, leave it. Yeah. Go to the woods, have a big ass house, live by myself, get to masseuse. Get the hunting gun, go every day, hunt, fish, bring my food, cook it, eat it, sleep, relax, mm. smoke hookah, shisha. <laughs> like, not the city life, nothing, no, totally different. What country is that then? What country would you be? I don't know. It could be somewhere in Africa. Yeah. I don't mind. Somewhere like nice, somewhere like green, somewhere good. So then you want like a normal life after? Like, a, not a normal, like below normal. Like, you know how they used to be like 300 years ago, oh, 200 okay. years ago, 100 years ago. Okay. So you want to live a simple life, basically. Yeah. Simple, yeah. So what actually got you interested in cars then? Every human being was a racer. Mm. Even you were a racer. You were a racer. How did you come to this world? A racing, yes? Being mm. the fastest sperm. Yeah. People don't talk about it. Yeah. I don't know why in most of the countries racing is illegal. It should not be legal. It should be mm. legal, not illegal. Because you come to this world as a racer. So why not just continue the legacy? <laughs> so what yeah. I did was I continued the legacy. That's it. Did you ever have, um, have you ever worked in the garage? I've never worked in a garage, no. no where did you get the experience from? Uh, by buying cars, selling cars, talking about cars, checking the cars, having different, different things, checking what's the issue, what could be the reason. YouTube helped a lot as well in the early days. Mm. If you don't find something, everything is on YouTube. Even I have told this to a lot of my friends as well. Listen, you don't need to pay a garage. Do it by yourself. The thing is, I did stuff on my car by myself. Now people have lost the touch, and this is the biggest problem. Mm. 100 years ago, anyone buying a car anywhere in the world, it was an investment. One person would work his whole life by one car and keeps it forever. It goes to his kid, his kid, his kid. Okay? So they used to work on it. Oil changes were done by themselves. Tire replacements were done by themselves. Anything minor was done by that person's self, and even some major stuff, manifold Engine, a lot of things they used to open up and just, you know, they used to do it because back in the days, every single car had a kit, toolkit. And in that toolkit, you had the proper tools which you can open up an engine as well. People used mm. to do that. Now we have become lazy. No, it's not, you know, if money can do it, money can do it, but you cannot have a connection with your car. Now connect, you don't have a connection. A mm. car is just to take you from point A to point B, that's it. That's it yeah. But that's not how cars are. You must have a connection. So for me, every single car, it speaks to me. Mm. I need this to be changed. I need that to be changed. My brake pads are worn out. But the owner does not know anything at all. It's like, how can you know it? I can know it. How can you not know it? Are you blind? Are you, mm -hmm. are you like, you don't have any senses? Because there is a vibration. There's a sound. There is, uh, some, there is something irregular going with the car. So that's how you know that your car is not in a good condition. Yeah. You don't need to be a mechanic in order for you to know if something is wrong with the car. You just need to have sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the first thing you look for when like reviewing a car? Sound. Sound, yeah. So would, would you say, you know, like majority of cars, like if you can hear a, an engine, you'd know like what engine it is straight away? Like 90%, yes. Okay. I can tell you what kind of an engine it is. Sometimes even how old the car is. Sometimes, rarely, I can even tell you if the car is like nearby and I can see it. I will be like, this car engine is not in good condition. Because the sound is yeah. different. Mm. It's not supposed to make this sound. Imagine like if a woman is trying to make this sound. <laughs> you'll be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> You know, yeah, something yeah. is wrong with you because you know women. I don't know women. I know cars. Mm. That's so, how it is. So what about EVs then? What's your opinion on EVs like the Tesla Cybertruck? <laughs> There's a lot of them in Dubai now, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen See, a lot. EVs, it's basically for me personally, they don't make a man happy. And mm. I'm a guy who believes 100% that men should have control over anything he has. Mm. Okay. Why do men love horses? Because you can control them. It goes, but you, you try to control it. <laughs> Even though it's uncontrollable, you, you try to control it. You like it that it's uncontrollable, but you're controlling it. So that makes you a man. Same goes with cars. A man, I will give you an option. I will give you, like, anywhere in the world, if you have friends. Yeah. Take three friends. One who has a manual car, one who has an automatic, and one who drives an EV. So if your friend has a manual car, he will be the happiest. Mm. His smile will be here while driving the car. The guy is driving an automatic, it's okay, he's driving it. Yeah. He's okay, he's enjoying it, you know, he's just driving it. But 
the electric car guy is running like this. Bit boring, isn't it? Boring. <laughs> there is nothing fascinating about the car. Yeah. No sound. Yeah. No aesthetics. It looks like a robot. It looks like a trash can. It looks like a micro. It looks like even a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like some people might like the looks. So what, what, what would you say in terms of looks wise? Because obviously you like the sound, but where would you rank like looks in terms of reviewing cars? So would you rather have, now my, my examples are quite stupid, but would yeah. you rather have a woman? Okay. Be with me. Would you rather have a woman who is beautiful, but sounds like like this <laughs> or would you rather have a woman who's look, who looks average but has like the most beautiful voice and she sings for you yeah probably the latter yeah because what do you have to do with beauty just put a mask on it and that's it you're good to go you know <laughs> you okay it's probably hard <laughs> to put a matching mask on <laughs> exactly <laughs> just put a, put a mask on it that's it yeah yeah so what would you say is the most like rarest car so there's one car if i'm not wrong it's the mercedes w125 if i'm not wrong okay that car was like Something like out of the world for me personally. And that car had like a 5.6 liter engine. Correct me if I'm wrong or maybe I'm wrong. Just fact check for me that. Mm. It's a 5.6 liter engine in line eight. And that produced almost 595 or 600 horsepower. Mm. And this was like way too early. And it was like played, it, it was used for the Grand Prix and it just broke records. Okay. And if you will actually see that car, you'll be like, wow, this car looks like something from the movie. Yeah. Like something which was supposed to be done in the future, but they did it long back. Okay. It's something which looks like a spaceship. Maybe you guys have seen it or no, but it looks like a literally like What's a spaceship. What's it called? What's it called? Uh, if I'm not wrong, W125. 125. I'll have a look at that. So is how many of them were made? It's rare. It's pretty rare. I'm not sure yeah. like how many of them were made, but it's pretty rare. Mm. If you had to nice. buy one car, what would it be your dream car? See, my dream car is a uh, Gullwing. What's that? What Gullwing, Mercedes Gullwing. Oh, Mercedes Gullwing. Okay. Yeah. 300 SL Gullwing. Oh, the old classic. Classic one. Oh, okay. You're not into the new cars like Lamborghini. They have lost their touch. Bugatti. Yeah. No, no, no. Huh? See, any car, it's fast. Every car will go fast. Yeah. yeah. I will swap an LS engine on a Supra or, or, or <laughs> any car, I will put an LS engine <laughs> and I will make 1,500 horsepower. Then it will go fast. It's not about going quick or fast if the car makes you happy. True. Yeah. Like that car, when I look at it, it's like, wow. The, the SL. Mm. SL, yeah, it's, it's, it just gives you a different vibe. Like the person who made this car, like the designers who put in, put a thought onto making this car, amazing. You'll go to some uh, European countries, you see the architect, it's amazing. There was like a lot of details, carved stones, like maybe 100 man hours to just make one small thing. Now it's just two minutes, that's it. Plastic. Yeah. Plastic. No, it's plastic. Yeah. Now it's like, mm, like the phone boots. You guys are from London. The phone yeah. boots yeah, back yeah. in the days, it was like really nice, aesthetic yeah, yeah. and this, or the lampposts, yeah. or, you know, the stoppers, something that was like, wow, the benches. But now yeah. you go, it's like that, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. It. I know really uses like phone boxes and stuff like that. In London it's anyway. like they have lost the taste. They have lost the touch. It's just the everything culture, yeah. become so black and white. So is that why you prefer it more? Because it's more unique in terms of everyday car. 100%. No, do you collect classic cars? Are you, <laughs> you should collect them. I should collect them and yeah. I will start collecting and that one is on my list. Yeah? yeah that, that's one that's on my nice. list. <laughs> because nowadays you see a lot of like Ferraris, Lambos. I feel like you see a lot of them. But in terms of the SL, you, like, it will be very rare to see that. So 100% in because these cars are everywhere. Mm. And the problem is that when you are driving a car like that, the person who is looking at you, they're like, oh, successful, but crypto kid. Mm. Yeah, true. Any Lamborghini owner, no respect, no disrespect to them or to the Lamborghini. But you see a Lamborghini, you're like, crypto. Mm. The first thing which comes to your mind, like, this is 100% crypto, Bitcoin or this or that. They just pushed it or they just, you know, hear the market. So that's, I don't want. Yeah, would, would you say it's the, uh, the safest supercar, the Lamborghini? Safest supercar? Yeah. There is no such thing as a safe supercar, brother. Yeah. Supercars are not made to be safe. They are made to be fragile in a way. Yeah, yeah. Because if you can afford something worth a million, it's okay, even if you damage it. Mm. So the problem is not that. The problem is people don't know how to drive them. Mm. Because most of the people, even they come to Dubai and they're driving this car, then they say, no, the rental car companies that scammed us. No, you don't know how to drive the car. Because one is a horse, one is a donkey. You are used to of driving a Corolla 2006 model. No disrespect, but <laughs> yeah. don't drive the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ or whatever. The same way you're driving a Corolla, you are flooring it. Mm. You cannot control it. There's a difference between 116 horsepower and 700 horsepower. 
Yeah. The horses are running even before you sit in the car. <laughs> they just want to unleash themselves. Yeah. In the corona, there is not even horse power. It's donkey powers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you have someone needs to push it. Yeah, the reason I said that is because I know the McLaren is not not as safe because I know that because it's rear wheel drive and the Lamborghini is four. Is it four wheel drive, right? See, McLaren, the build quality of McLaren. Yeah. So not good. a single car influencer. Actually, if the one they are not lying, of course, they're getting paid as a different story. But for my my personal opinion, build quality of McLaren is does does not fascinate me. Mm. I will get a back pain in it first of all. Mm. Aesthetics wise, it's okay, it's nice, but it's not value for money for me personally, in my opinion. So uh, you 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 it looks like you like petrol cars, yeah, hundred percent, and or uh, diesel much better. Diesel as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, would you agree that electric cars are taking over, aren't they? Electric cars were trying to take over. There's a difference between trying taking over and will take over. Electric cars, it's just, I don't say it's a scam, but it's just a trend. It's just a trend. And it will die down, yeah? Mm. It's already died. It's already dying down. Tesla shares, Tesla cuts down the pricing. China is building crazy amount of electric cars. Ford, they discontinued, they literally closed down their factory. Mm. Ford, 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 one of the biggest manufacturers, they closed down their whole electric division. They're like, you know what? We cannot afford it anymore. Audi going on the same path. Uh, EU were like, okay, by the end, by 2030, we will ban all internal combustion engine cars and we will just go all electric. Now they're saying, wait a minute. Let's go a little bit 2030 or 2040. It's not that. <laughs> electric cars are not the solution. And the solution to what? To global warming? You check the ratio of what you need to make and, and uh, a battery of the car, what goes in it? How much mm. labor goes in it? What you're using to dig that lithium? You're using, again, heavy equipment machineries. You're not doing it by uh, electric. You're doing it by bulldozer, which goes diesel, oil, crude, this, that. How? Mm. By that. Biggest problem is disposing it. You have an iPhone? Yeah. yeah. Remove the battery, dispose it. See how hectic of a job it is to just dispose a small lithium battery of an iPhone. Dispose it, yeah. uh, give it to Apple. You cannot, you cannot dispose it. It's hard, yeah. It's crazy for the environment. If you really care about the environment, then don't use this battery. Mm. Come up with hydrogen. Yeah. Come up with water, come up with something, something else, yeah? I feel like there's always a double standard, especially with electricity. 100%, it's just a trend. Mm. It's just some of the countries, they don't want to be dependent on the oil. They want to go for the solar, wind, this, that. And right now, majority of the countries around the world, they're not even on solar or wind or nuclear. Mm. They're still burning coals, <laughs> fossil fuels. It's still a dinosaur is going in the car too, because you're making it electrified. It becomes electricity and you're putting it and charging it in your car. And it's not safe. Mm. Safety, zero. Check on, on Google, go, go to YouTube, write electric car fires. See how many cars are being fired up, but the media never shows it. Mm. You go to America, every single other car is like fire up, fire up, fire up. Why? Battery. Yeah, it was battery. battery yeah. Yeah. It's all battery down. Like electric cars, it's a big, 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 long topic, which I can talk to you about mm. like hundreds of hours. Mm. Do I suggest it? No. Do okay. I like it? No. Is it the future? <laughs> no. What about yeah. self-driving cars, programming? <laughs> why do you need that? Yeah. Why do we need that? Have you ever why, signed one? Why, no, why are we cutting down the human touch? Mm. There are a lot of AI tools, chat, GPT, this, a lot of people use, I don't, I don't use them. Do you think AI will take over though? AI might take over. See, AI is not my expertise. Cars, yes. Mm. AI, I cannot. It might take over, but I hope not because I personally love the human touch. When mm. I'm on the call, if I'm pissed off at someone, I want to, on you, <laughs> not on AI, press one, press two, <laughs> press three. It makes me more pissed off yeah. because there is no uh, solution to it. It's just one, two, three, four. No, I want to talk to someone. Yeah. So when you have a problem or you're calling your, uh, I don't know, SIM card or carrier or services, what do you do? Do you put one, two, three? No, you put zero because you want to talk to someone. Mm. So why are we cutting down the human touch? So, uh, so have you... Vacuum cleaners are becoming, I don't know, AI or artificial intelligence yeah. and chat GPT and yeah. I don't know, autom automotive or autonomous cars, they drive yeah. themselves. Why? Why do we need it? Yeah, definitely. So, so you've never used like AI to your like advantage and stuff like that? You prefer like- I've even in one of my companies, I've still listened guys. If you, can, if you guys want to use it, get out. Yeah. Because you are being paid. 
Yeah, now you're replacing AI by the, by your work. Come on, I need the human touch. I need to know mm-hmm. it has been done by a human being. You go on AI, right? Give me ten topics for this. Okay, done. That's it. Yeah. So why are you getting paid? So I would rather pay a human being, help the community, than just have a subscription of twenty dollars for the whole year or fifty dollars for the whole year, and that's it. I'm good enough. No, no, does not work. Definitely, yeah. So we've established that you're not like a big fan of EVs. You prefer, you can say that. yeah. You prefer um, so petrol cars. So petrol, of, diesel, anything with yeah. fossils, anything with power. Yeah, 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 power. Yeah. So, what would you say is uh, the car that you prefer the most, Lamborghini or Ferrari? I would go for Ferrari. Ferrari. I would definitely because see, there is a history between Lamborghini and Ferrari. Mm-hmm. There is a history between uh, Lamborghini and Pagani. They're all connected. Why I would suggest Ferrari? Because Ferrari, still, till day you see a Ferrari, any Ferrari, mm. it's a Ferrari. And the problem is that, for me personally, I think Ferrari and Lamborghini, they ruined their name a little bit with their SUVs. With their SUVs, because they were exclusive. You hear a Ferrari, you know it's a supercar. You hear a Lamborghini, you say, okay, it's a supercar. To a point where, you, you, you know, uh, the, the owner of the Ferrari, he said, this, the, the founder of Ferrari, yeah? Ferrari himself, he said that you ask a child to draw a car and he will draw it red. Till now, people have the mindset that Ferrari must be in red color, red color, red color. Because mm. red color, supercar, supercar, Ferrari. Lamborghini came up with the Urus. Mm, okay, now anyone can drive an Urus. Yeah. Anyone has a million, they can go and buy a Lamborghini for the just sake of name, or name of it. Mm. Same with uh, Ferrari as well, but still, for a Swange and Urus, there is a big difference. big difference. You cannot compare both of them. I personally don't like, for me, if you will ask me, I would pay three times more. Yes, I will go for the Pro Songwe. Mm. You do it like this, the power difference, you're still in control. You can still control it. You feel like it's crazy, it's fast, it's good, it's nice, it's horses are unleashing, but you can still control it. Plus, when you're driving a Ferrari, no one thinks you're a crypto kid. Mm. <laughs> they think you are rich. Yeah, what would you say the, the main difference is though, from the Pro Songwe to the Urus? Performance is one of them, yeah. but for me personally, the control, mm-hmm. control, I, there's a big difference. Mm-hmm. I did this and there was a power slide and I was 100% in control. I literally was doing donuts in a place, I don't say where. <laughs> <laughs> not here, not anywhere. What model was this? Yeah. What model was that? What was that? What the, model, Ferrari? The Porosongue, the yeah. SUV. Yeah, yeah, so you're doing donuts in that. But basically, it's not an SUV. They said it's not an SUV, but it's, it's an SUV. It is, but yeah, it's basically. not common, though. I think Lamborghini Urus is more common. Why is that? Yeah, it's more common. See, a Ferrari, it's not available. Okay. It's not available. It just recently got introduced, and Urus is from a couple of years Everyone's in the market. Urus. Yeah, everyone is driving, Everyone's it. driving it. And plus, there is a big price difference as well. Urus, you can find it under 1 million. Yeah, but yeah. a Swangwe, it's it is for 2.4, but it's not available. Mm. If you want to buy one, we just recently ported one, and it was like 4.2 million it cost. Mm. Because it's not available. So you're, where are you buying it from? You're buying it from Europe. You're sending it to Mexico. From Mexico, you're bringing it here. So it's like cost, 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 cost. And people are making money out of it. And you want your hands on it because it's new and you want to be, you know, the big guy in your friend circle. I have the Porosangue. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have you made a video of the Porosangue on, on your I did. I did media? one for uh, the one in UA, which we brought. Yeah. So that one I did. Okay, that's decent, man. Yeah, because I've seen a few videos online where... Your question in the public about, I think there's one about ICE. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what does ICE stand for? Internal combustion engine. Internal combustion engine, yeah. yeah. I've seen and it. it's funny that I was in an event. Yeah. And it's like a drag race event. Mm. It must be petrol heads, guys who love cars, internal combustion, because drag racing cannot be done by electric cars. Yeah. <laughs> not made for it. It's not fun. It's like, you don't even hear it. You can't hear it, yeah. <laughs> So I was expecting that the guys would know it. It's the least, like it's the basic of any car guy or any car people or person. So I just went there and I had like these tickets, like VIP tickets access. Okay. And I was like, I just want to give it to people. I had like 20 of them or 20 or 30 of them. And I was like, I just want to give it away. Mm-hmm. But I should be happy that, okay, it is a fair thing. Not just giving away. Like you see, I see a girl and I'm like, take it. And I'm boy, I'm like, no, no, no. You are like you. I don't like, no. Let's make it fair. Let's ask everyone the same question. Mm. What does ICE stands for? Clueless. Majority of them were clueless. Mm. To a point where there was an engineer, mechanical engineer, and I asked him, I said, What's an uh, ICE? What is ICE? I said, ICE in cars. So his friend was like, he, he knows, he knows because he's a mechanical engineer. I'm like, Now you have to tell me. 
It took him like three minutes or four minutes after 17 wrong guesses. He's like, is it internal combustion engine? I'm like, yes, there you go. Yeah, I think it's, I see someone say uh, information, confirmation. Information, <laughs> uh, communication, uh, entertainment. Entertainment. So you, you have been to Emirates Airline, yeah? Yeah. yeah you yeah. see, and to IECE. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that. So oh. he's, he's <laughs> that. I think that guy travels a lot. No, so but when I was young, I used to watch like Top Gear and mm -hmm. Car I think Car is new as well. But I used yeah. to watch Top Gear when I was little. What, what yeah. did you used to watch? Did you used to Top watch Gear, it? yeah, Top Gear. Top 100%, Gear, yeah. yeah. Those three men are most probably the best thing which ever happened or however happened to the car community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the new guys. I don't even know their names. Yeah, no, the OGs. The OGs. The OGs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call him Sir Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Richard uh, Hammond and James May. Not a big fan of James Bay, but he's a cute guy. Have you ever met them in person? I have not met them, no. Mm. I feel like they're irreplaceable. Like they they were like the le the legendary team. There you go. So if you you can't replace them. You cannot replace. You cannot replace. Does mm. not matter. Same way you cannot replace like internal combustion engine with electric. You cannot come replace these with that. Yeah, yeah. These guys never give a shit about anything. Yeah. yeah. They <laughs> like it, they like it. Freestyle. Yeah, yeah. They don't like it. They, exactly. Freestyle. Yeah. 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 So that's how it's supposed to be. I, I think, think they had the right yeah. humor as well with the deals exactly yeah they basically they basically said it how it is but who who's who's the best now who do you look up to now i don't look up to anyone i don't know there's no for one me, the, there? the only guy who i like yeah uh, the content and i can relate to his content is aziz aziz drives oh yeah i think i've seen him the, the swiss guy in switzerland he's a good friend of mine i've seen him on youtube yeah, the guy yeah. who's always kicking or doing something and yeah. what the f <laughs> beep this yeah yeah what the f is this all about what he's the guy who starts every video with something shitty about the car and i love that yeah because it's different it's not the same thing hello welcome guys today i'm going to show you a 1.6 liter engine force inline four made out of no i don't want to watch that tell me about the shit part about the car and the good part about the car mm. this guy starts the video by kick kicking yeah. he's doing like jason Statham kicking and he starts the video he talks about no, what crazy. is good in the car and what is not good in the car and that's it Mm. Same thing which I do, good and bad, or good or good, or bad and bad. Not yeah. everything, not every car is amazing. Wow, great, great. How can every single car be like, wow, 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 wow? They have to be good and bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have to be good it. and bad, or being bad and bad. I love to be bad and bad. Yes. Your cool. videos are more creative. I think you, the thing with your videos is you're moving around more. That's yeah. what makes it more engaging. Yeah. What would you say your competition is like? So you mentioned uh, Aziz Drives. So, in terms of like competition in general, how how is it like in your industry? I don't believe in competition. You don't believe. In I it? don't have a competitive kind of a mindset. My competition mm. is myself. Yeah. Like I have to be competing with myself yesterday, today, tomorrow. That's it. Mm. There is no competition, and I'm a firm believer in this. If something is made for you, it will come to you. It will come to you. Work for it, it will come to you. But if something is made for you, no matter how hard I work for it, it will come to you. It has to go to that. Mm. So competition, I don't believe. I believe in collaborating. Okay. I would rather collaborate with someone, you know, of my level, a little bit lower than my level, or a little bit better than my level, to benefit him, benefit myself, or benefit the project, rather than being a competitive mindset. Yeah, true. For me, yeah. I have so many DMs on a daily basis, like, I cannot even go through them. Mm. I don't go through them. Like, I have uh, three DMs in a minute. Mm. It's like thousands. It looks small, but it's thousands of DMs in a day. Yeah. Leave the emails. Leave the TikTok ones, leave the rest. Like the fan mail is like crazy. Yeah. I want to reply, but I cannot. I'm a human being and I have other different responsibilities. I'm busy. And a lot of people, they want to collaborate. And I want to collaborate with them, but my schedule does not allow it. Mm. Who, who would you want to collaborate with? I don't know. Like, I don't have anything in my mind. This <laughs> yeah, is my yeah. problem. You know, I don't have anything in my mind. I'm just yeah. the guy sitting right now in front of you without anything. And just you will shoot anything at me. I'll be like, yes, but... Yeah. Who I would be collaborating with, I have no idea. Yeah, well, what would you, what's your opinion on like other car reviewers and how they go about things? Do you like uh, agree with most things or? I disagree, 100% disagree with them. Disagree. Majority of the car influencers, even my friends, I'm very good friends with a lot of car influencers. Mm. I tell them, what's the difference between you and him? Yeah. Same car, same color, same design, same interior, same content, same thing. Just maximum, there is difference in the language. Mm. Your body language is same. The way you talk is same. The way you show is same. The why? Like, why should I watch your? Why should I not watch it? And I only follow like twenty five people on Instagram. Okay. Trust me, I swear. <laughs> I want to unfollow all of them. Mm. They even my friends are like really good friends of mine. I want to unfollow all of them because the content which is being pushed by them, it's like every content is the same. It gets mm. boring. Mm -hmm. 
what are same as each other or same as what same they as did each before? other and same as their own previous videos okay it's like back to back back to back back to back same thing Indeed. there's not engaging you go to my profile i'm not saying i'm the best go to my profile you will not get yeah. bored you will keep scrolling you got different yeah, videos yeah. yeah you will keep you there is something motivational there is something funny there is yeah. something stupid there is something that you will not get bored i think yeah. i saw you once you're i think was you standing on a ferrari or you like crouching the sitting on a ferrari i think most probably that sounds like me yeah <laughs> i don't remember i have a memory of a goldfish dead goldfish but yeah <laughs> sounds like me no that's decent man uh, but what would you say your plans are for the future then Plans for the future is expand the company mm. and just buy, buy, buy myself. Like I don't want to be on social media anymore. Okay. But that's what I did. I opened up a course as well. And that course was just to help people around. It was not to sell the course. You know, here's the thing. I not make a big hype. I want to sell this course because I don't need to sell the course. Mm. It's just, I don't want any XYZ bullshit are going on my course and then saying, oh no, his course is shit. No. So that's why you have to pay a premium. You have to pay some money. Mm. Started with that. Uh, it was in my mind for like two years, six months of back-to-back -back work and all that stuff. We started with the course and boom, first day, like crazy. And then what I did was I wanted to give back to the community. So 1000 people, I said, I will give back the money. Mm -hmm. So we transfer back all of their money, like 1000 people. We transfer back their money. They had to have the free access to the website as well. Let them be. So I want to help people. So mm -hmm. in that website, it's like how to become car expert. It's not crypto, how to become this. No, no, no. Yeah. How I am, how you can become me. For okay. my fans, for my followers, because I wanted to give some value to them. Mm -hmm. Somebody which they can afford. And here's the thing. I was talking with my team as well. These people can afford the equipment. Maybe they cannot afford an iPhone. Mm -hmm. So how so, can you help them? Is this for starters then? Yeah? It's starters, exactly. Starters. For like people who want to do something in life, but they're clueless. Yeah. I will not tell you go and you know put your money on Bitcoin or something. I don't know. First of all, I'm not that guy. Mm. I have no idea. And if you want to become like me, you should be becoming like me. Yeah. You should go on the same scenario which I'm going. Not I will tell you no, do this, do this. No, no. So, so what are three tips you'd give to someone that's starting off in the car reviews? Don't listen to other people. Mm. Be different. Be crazy. That's it. Never listen to anyone. Your even family members, your friends, your this. They don't know. If they know, they would do it by themselves. They don't know and they don't see that in you. And But you know, you have, you know what you're capable of, mm. up to what extent you can go to. The same people right now who are telling you, no, it will not work, it will no, it will no, will be the same after a year or two. They will say, you know, that guy is my cousin, he's my friend, he's my brother, he's my mm. this. Mm. So. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't start because they have that fear of failure. So why do you think certain content creators fail? Why do content creators fail? Yeah, so like in terms of content creation, like they might want to um, start up their own content and uh, like, for example, for you, like review cars online and let's say it doesn't work out. Why do you think it might not work out? See, the reason why a lot of content creators fail is because their mindset is stupid. They want to just become overnight successful. Like, um, you, they close their eyes, they open their eyes and boom, millions of you. No, yes. it doesn't work like that. How many years did it take you? So uh, my Instagram is pretty fresh, by the way. It's like two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah, Instagram is two years. TikTok, it's 2020 I started. Yeah. And how many followers did you generate over two years? 3.7 and here 3.6. That's quite great. Do you, do you edit your own videos? Uh, I do sometimes, but I have a team as well. So I have a whole media production house. So they are the ones who are doing a lot of stuff. Funny part about the followers. Yeah. So a friend of mine, he came. Karim, Karim Luxury. I don't know if you guys know him or no. He's known as the luxury guy of UAE. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that guy. He was sitting in my office and we we're chilling and he's like, oh, your Facebook is doing well. What Facebook? <laughs> I don't have Facebook. He's like, mm. no, what do you mean? You have a million followers. I'm like, what million? I'm, I don't have Facebook. Yeah. He shows the Facebook on his phone and it's a million followers. And this guy is so good that whenever I post a video, he will post it on like within three minutes. Same mm. video. I'm just posting videos. This guy is posting even my stories. He downloads the stories and posts it there. And here's the funny part. It's monetized. It's monetized. It's monetized. He's, he already made like more than $300,000. Just on mm. Facebook from one page. Then there is another page, $800,000. There is another page, $700,000. Then another one, $300,000. All of them are monetized. Yeah. So how do you deal with that then? People... I don't deal with that. Let them be. You let them be. If, if they're making money out of it, okay, sure, why not? Yeah. yeah. What about as long, long as they don't destroy my name, let it be. What about long mm. form, like YouTube? 
Uh, there is there is a page on YouTube as well, account on YouTube. Yeah. And what's funny is that one day I just posted up. I'm not active. I'm not active on any of these platforms. Mm. I'm not even active on Instagram. Yeah, I think I've seen TikTok. it. So you don't have a YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel, but okay. here's the funny part. I have like 20,000 followers, something like that. Okay. I posted a video a long time ago, like three months ago. I posted a video and someone commented, this is a fake account. The real account is the other one. <laughs> and there's another guy who has like 200,000 followers. <laughs> Snapchat, one guy has more than I think 1 million or some stuff. Mm. I just recently got to know there are like seven. And what's funny is that Snapchat, I have like car.expr7. Yeah. This guy has car expert. <laughs> oh. He has the proper car expert one. He's got the proper handle. So I hope that these guys, are, I, don't, I don't care. I have a legal team as well. And the legal mm. team was like, we can sue them. I was like, let's not sue anyone. Yeah. If they're making money out of it, it's okay. As long as they don't misuse the name, they send links to other people like, hey, you can go there and go here and guys, just be aware of all that stuff. That's not me. I will never ask for your money. I will give you, but I will not ask. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it benefits you as well? So like in terms of marketing, like get your name out. I don't care about that part, brother, to be quite frank with you. Like the yeah. whole reason behind wearing a mask is not to become famous. It yeah. is to not become famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To hide myself. If I wanted to become famous, I would. the first thing which I would do, would, I would just remove the mask and everyone would be like, this guy, this guy, this guy. Like, yeah. I want to just lay low and live my life, that's it. Definitely, man. So tell us a fun fact about yourself. <sighs> a fun fact about myself. Exclusive. Exclusive, yeah. I ride horses. If that's a fact, I don't know if it's fun <laughs> or no. I can shoot. I'm a really skilled shooter. Okay, skilled, skilled, like proper skilled shooter I can shoot. And I don't work hard. Yeah, I don't mm. work hard. That's a fact. The rest of them is like something like a hobby, but... Yeah. I don't work hard. I don't believe in working hard mindset. Yeah, why is that? Work hard, work hard. You're not a donkey. You're a human being. Yeah. <laughs> work smart. Work smart, yeah. You have a brain. What makes you different between a donkey and a human being is that you have a brain. Work it. Make it work. Mm. Work smart. No need to work hard. Hire someone who works hard for you. No problem. But mm. you work smart. Having a degree, having this, I'm not with that mindset. Mm. I don't care if you have a degree or not, or if I have a degree because no one asks you for a degree. Mm. Come on, today's world, no one even cares. No one cares. And even if you have a master's, you are so no, what? Nobody. I feel like times have changed a lot in recent times. So, so nothing at all. So just focus on yourself, on your career, on your skills. Develop skills. Yes, skills is something. Mm. I've seen people with masters driving taxis, washing dishes on in the KFC, and I've seen people who don't even speak English. Who don't even they're not even educated, but they are earning good money. Yeah. Why? Because they have skills. They know how to solve a problem or they have a solution to something. Mm. I personally am not a big fan of the education system because majority of the countries, it's become a system. It's a business now. Mm. Buy this, buy this, buy bags, buy uniform, buy the why? Why should I buy uniforms? I want to mm. come in my own clothes. No, because so everyone will equal. No. I want to dress good. Yeah. I want to smell good. I want to have long hair. Definitely, yeah. That's the problem. So, so what about, um, can you tell me something that no one knows about you, apart from how you look? <laughs> I don't look ugly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some people, they imagine that maybe this guy has, I don't look ugly, I look like really good. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So anything that like no one, no one knows about you, like no one, like a fact. Then that does not mix me, you know, then it's like giving away my privacy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. I try to like avoid all the questions, not with you, even a lot of my friends. They don't know who I am, where I'm from. They have seen me without the mask, but that's about it. Hmm. Just keep guessing. Oh, but we saw there that you are. No, you so, don't know. So the majority of things you like show is what is the limit that you want to show people. Exactly. Okay. That makes sense. You had a perfume brand you were saying. Oh yeah. Not a brand, so here's what I did. So I have a lot of guests. Okay. I have a lot of guests on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, and I spend a lot. Yeah. I hate uh, receiving gifts. I love giving gifts. Like if you want to destroy me, give me a gift, which you did, by the way. <laughs> like this is a big no for me. Mm. Let's say I love a car. It's like my dream car. And you will give it to me. Trust me, I will not even drive it. Mm. This is a problem which I have. So you are giving more. I like to give more. Mm -hmm. And if I want something, I can afford it, I will buy it. And if I cannot afford it, I will work and I will buy it. I will make sure that I will get it. Mm -hmm. I am very impulsive. I cannot, you know, I would rather pay three times more and buy it now than wait for it for three days and then get it. No, no, no. I want it now, I will pay it three times more. So the perfume is not a brand, basically. It's just for my guests whenever they come in. 
Mm. It's how I smell. So they will smell exactly the same because always I they keep asking me, what is that perfume which you're using? So I use a set of perfumes and I spend a lot of money on my perfumes. So you got you got a signature smell, like exactly. So it's crazy. That's the one. So I was I was spending a lot of money, mm. and it was all on gifts, chocolates, taste that every month. Like, each guest comes in, you have to spend like a couple of thousands and this and that. So it was like going really high. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what's a better thing than having your own customized stuff, like off your own car expert? And people loved it. And to anyone I give, and they're like, this is really nice. Thank you so much. And they take snaps and they post it that, okay, I got a gift from car expert. And I was like, good. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any other businesses or would you be willing to do any other businesses? Uh, that's a secret. Secret. Yeah. <laughs> You'll tell us when he's ready. Isn't it? <laughs> That's a secret. No. That's without the mask, most probably. Not with the mask. <laughs> yeah. Without the mask, yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Well, thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate you coming thank on. You for having me, guys. Thank Lovely you for speaking to you guys. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. You guys play Call of Duty or no? No, no. I don't. If you guys have said I, I play Call of Duty, I would invite you guys to my office. It's a really nice office. You would love. I'm I'm trying to bring a F1 simulator as well. F1 simulator. Yeah. F1, we'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, we nah, can, that's yeah. good, man. Where's your office? Is it nearby? Uh, nearby, nearby. nearby. Yeah, inshallah, yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> you can't tell Tomorrow, you. the whole of Instagram will be there. No, right. <laughs> there was a guy who came from India. His name is Anvijay Singh. He's a good friend of mine as well, and he's uh, a celebrity in India as well. Okay. And he came for a podcast as well. We had a podcast in the car. It was a Maybach he brought, and mm. he came to my office. And the team was there, and they wanted to show the whole place. Like I was like, mm, guys, listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go to another place. So we went to another place and they shot around that to make it look like it's one of my office. But no, that place was not my office. My office is somewhere else. Somewhere else, yeah, it makes sense, cool. man. It's so not yeah. an office office. It's like a chilling spot for myself. Easy, okay, yeah, we'll wrap it up then. Um, yeah. Thank you for coming on. Definitely. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Hopefully we can you know, come to your office and play the F1 simulator. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, anytime. Some Call of Duty as well. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on. And uh, yeah, man, uh, thank you guys for watching. Guys, if you want to see more episodes, make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you later. Take care. Bye.